Hey guys. Okay, um, I wanted to come and show you my hair because, um, I don't know, maybe just because I'm, I seem to be upload crazy these days. Um, I think it's like a diversion because I have all these midterms and things like that going on. So when I take a break, I want to do an upload. So anyway, um, I wanted to come and show you my hair because yesterday I believe I posted a video about um, the no gel uh, diva curl process um, and just so you know I did post some links on that video so you can go and see the diva curl technique if you've never seen it before um, there's a couple stylists talking about how the technique works and then I think there was a, um, a, a news show that showed um, how the technique works but in any event I wanted to come to you um, with my hair like this because this is the end of the day. I've been at school all day. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, and this is the no gel result. Um, it is not as, um, what's the word? It doesn't, it shrinks up. Um, more than when you have gel in it but other than that it seems to do the same exact thing I mean in terms of um, definition and sheen you know it's no less shiny it's no less defined it's just that you know it shrinks up um, there's nothing really holding your curls down um, except conditioner and I don't have a heavy heavy conditioner on my hair I told you guys the two conditioners that I used um, I used those again today which were the um, or was that wow now my uploads are running together um, I think that was yesterday yeah it was yesterday okay so I used those same um, uh, conditioners again today the um, lavender and the um, uh, control freak um, the one thing I wanted to say is that my hair feels very very moisturized and I don't know if that's because of uh, the weather I don't know if it's been moist here I don't know what the deal is but um, my hair is feeling a lot more moist than it normally does um, you know I've also been putting castor oil on my ends at night um, so that might be playing into it but normally my hair just soaks up whatever oil I put on my ends and you know I'm kind of like back to zero by the following day so I don't know maybe the castor oil because it's a little heavier um, it's staying in there but I mean when I kind of twirl my ends like this I can feel a little bit of something and I don't know if that's just because my hair is really well moisturized or if it's because I've been doing the castor oil I don't know Go figure but anyway I wanted to show you guys this result because you know a lot of times when I do my videos I'm like getting ready to leave the house or getting ready to go out to dinner and so my hair looks a certain kind of way this is an end of the day hair and I think that this result is really really good I mean um, it's you know I mean it's, it's still totally doing its thing I could probably get um, second day hair out of this you know no problem I haven't been trying to get second day hair um, at all just because I love the way a fresh wash and go looks um, but I probably could and ultimately when the weather gets really really cold I'll probably be doing um, second and third day hair um, and twist outs and stuff like that so excuse me we'll see but anyway guys I just wanted to check in to give you kind of like a full view of how this technique works, um, what the results are that you can expect, um, you know, how it looks in the morning is not how it looks at the end of the day, but the end of the day look, um, you know, is still uh, defined, it's still shiny, um, it's still, I guess you know I mean for me it's fine I don't know maybe somebody else would think it's not what they want or whatever but you know for me um, I'm satisfied with it you know I feel like if I, if I can 
you know, get like a, a softer, a softer feel to my hair. Um, you know, I'll pretty much deal with, uh, deal with anything. So I'm satisfied. Um, you know, one thing I've been noticing, I mean, I've, I've noticed it before, but it's really starting to become noticeable as my hair gets longer is something that's really, really weird. And I wonder if anybody else has this. Um, on this side of my hair, okay, I have more hair on this side of my head than I do on this side of my head. But what's weird is this side of my hair is frizzier than this side of my hair. So like, for instance, if I go like this, Okay, well, that didn't really <laughs> that didn't really work. But if I do that, okay, so it's negligible, but it's just noticeable to me. But it's like this side of my hair stacks out more and it's thicker. You know, when I do things to it, it's like uh, there's more hair in here than on this side. This side has a tendency to hang straighter down. Then this side, it, it has a tendency to kind of like grow out. Um, but uh, when I'm styling my hair, this side has actually more hair in it, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just so, it's goofy. I just wonder if anybody else notices um, anything about their hair like that. Like, you know, one side's frizzier than the other side or... You know, one side um, seems to have more hair in it than the other side does. It's just really weird because um, when I diffuse, I um, kind of put my hair, you know, to the side like this and then to the side like this. And when I do it to this side, I kind of can't see through the hair. But when I do it on this side, you know, I can see through the hair and it's, but yet this side is always fuller than this side so I don't know it just kind of I trip on it sometimes but anyway guys um just wanted to show you kind of like a end of the day this is how it looks after you know it's kind of been through the weather and um it shrunk up all it's going to shrink and you know kind of did its thing um I'm I'm really really pleased with this I'm, a, I'm amazed by it actually because I did um like a conditioner only type thing when I was first natural and it made my hair grow like uh, it was amazing I mean my hair grew leaps and bounds um the couple months that I was doing like this conditioner only thing it's just that that was very very labor intensive I mean it was kind of like you know Terry's thing where you have to comb through it and then you have to well it was her thing you know you have to comb through it it's late sorry <laughs> And then you have to divide up the curls and, you know, all this stuff. And that's great. I mean, I, I love Terry. I love her technique. There's, I have absolutely nothing against it. All I'm saying is that, um, I guess my point is, I forgot how beneficial um, just putting conditioner on your hair and nothing else can be. Um, because I really had... A decrease in breakage um, I had um, an increase in growth um, my hair health um, seemed to be better um, it looked shinier it looked better um, and I just remember being amazed at like what was going on with my hair during that time that I was putting conditioner only on it and I think that um, the way my hair has been reacting to this diva curl technique that um you know maybe my hair just really likes conditioner and it's not as crazy about gel as um you know i'd like it to be but anyway um i guess that's really about it i don't have uh anything else to tell you guys but wanted to give you an update and let you know um how the hair looks uh with no gel at the end of the day it is a little different than it looks when it has gel on it um you know, not quite as stretched. Um, but other than that, I really don't see any difference. I mean, other than the fact that it shrunk up more than it normally does, I see absolutely no difference. Um, and it may even be defined a little bit better. You know, one thing I have noticed about this um, that I like versus the gel. Um, and even with the scrunching the gel in, it works. 
um, is you can put your hands in your hair and there's no, how can I explain it? When I wear gel, okay, when I, when I go to like, I like to play in my hair. So when I go to play in my hair and I grab a piece like this and there's gel in it, this piece right here that I'm playing with will be stuck to like all these other little pieces. And then I'll feel it and it'll feel hard and then I have to unhook them and then I, you know, I don't know, get paranoid that I'm ripping pieces of hair because a couple pieces of hair might be stuck together with gel. Um, I don't get that with this. Like if I go to play with a piece of hair, that's the only piece of hair that comes out. Like the hair seems to keep its individuality. It doesn't get stuck together like it can um, with, um, with gel, especially when you're like raking it through. Um, or even smoothing it through because then you're kind of like bonding pieces together basically. So I'm really really um, enjoying this. I mean I'll still use gel but um, that particular issue with the pieces sticking together it doesn't happen as much when you scrunch the gel in versus um, you know smoothing it in or raking it through. Um, at least not for me. So um, I'm just really really happy with this and, and um, so of course, I want to share it with my subbies and on my YouTube family. So, um, anyway, guys, it's late. I'm tired. Um, just wanted to share, and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.